Hi there, I'm Alex from Tutoring Heroes, and today I'm going to be helping you with your maths. Let's take a look together and see, shall we? In this video, we're going to look at multiplying fractions, and we're going to go through three examples. If we look at our checklist, it says rewrite any mixed numbers as improper fractions. In this first example, I have no mixed numbers. I don't have any whole numbers as well as fractions. The next thing says to simplify your fractions using the highest common factor if possible. I can't simplify this fraction anymore on either side, so I'm going to keep on going. Next it says multiply the numerators, so 3 times 1 equals 3. Then it says multiply the denominators, 8 times 4 equals, sorry, 8 times 5 equals 40. And then simplify your answer if possible. Now that is the most simplest form of that fraction, so the answer is 3 over 40 or 3 fortieths. So for our next example, we're going to do 4 fifths times 6 eighths. Now if I notice, there is a highest common factor of 4 between this numerator and this denominator, and any that are opposite each other, not in the same fraction, if you can simplify them, then you can do that. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. And I leave that denominator as it was. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I've simplified this before I've started to multiply. Now I can do 1 fifth multiplied by 6 halves, you can see here. So 1 times 6 equals 6. 5 times 2 for the denominator equals 10, and I can't simplify this anymore, so the final answer is 6 tenths. If you find that a little bit too tricky, you can go back to this stage, and instead of simplifying, you just carry on like normal and you simplify later. For example, 4 fifths times 6 eighths, multiply top and bottom, so 4 times 6 equals 24, 5 eighths equals 40, and then I could simplify it to its simplest form, which would be 6 tenths. The last example I'm going to show you is the mixed number example. So 2 and 7 tenths multiplied by 4 and one sixth. Now you must write these as improper fractions. So I'm going to have 27 tenths, because 2 times 10 is 20, add the other 7. 4 times 6 is 24, plus that last one is 25, so it's 25 six. So all I've done is taken those whole numbers and put them into improper fractions. Then it says I need to simplify using the highest common factor if possible. So I know that actually 27 and 6 fit into the 3 times table. So I'm going to try and simplify these two to begin with. But I can also see that 10 and 25 are in the 5 times table. So I can try and simplify those as well. So 27 divided by 3 is going to be 9, 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2. Now if I go back to my ones that I'm going to divide by 5, 25 divided by 5 is 5 and 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now I've simplified my fraction, I can carry on and multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and simplify my answer. So 9 times 5 equals 45, 2 times 2 equals 4, which is actually an improper fraction, so I can change it to a mixed number, 11 holes and a quarter left over. Thanks for watching this video today, brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.